All right. Well, we have Miss Randall here with us to do some science today. Um, how about that Duke game last night, oh, Miss Randall? Oh, it was awesome. Great, wasn't it? <laughs> yes. One point victory. All right. Well, we're going to look today at a very cool chemical. It's called potassium chlorate. And that is this white powder that we have here in this tube. Looks about like salt or sugar, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And in order to see exactly what we can do with this, this is, this is a uh, type of oxidizer, but it makes some really interesting reactions with other materials. And in order to do that, we need to melt it. Okay. So if you can light our burner there, you just want to hold the flame kind of down here close to where that wick is. And you'll need to hold it there for a couple seconds. It'll light up. All right, and it'll probably take a minute or two, but we're going to melt our potassium chlorate. I'm going to lower it down just a little bit, get it closer to that flame. Because we do want to get it completely melted. And once it does... Is it still burning? It's burning. It's just... It's, it's very clear. Yeah, it's that ethyl alcohol got kind of a bluish, almost invisible flame. Okay. But it'll, it'll heat up here. It's already starting to melt a little bit. But it'll take it a minute or two to melt completely. But potassium chlorate, like I say, it's an oxidizer. It's a pretty powerful one, and it can make some really neat reactions. But we're actually going to make it react with something that's very simple. I got a bag of jelly beans here the other day. Would you like one? No, thank you. Delicious. <laughs> I'm good. All right. But we're actually going to make it react with a jelly bean. Okay. Okay? Sounds like a pretty safe reaction, right? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> So we have our jelly beans here, and you know, we think of jelly beans as just being, I mean, a harmless, simple thing, but it's actually, jelly beans contain a lot of one particular chemical. Would you like to guess what that chemical is? Sugar. Sugar. They've got lots of sugar in them, right? Yes. And potassium chloride, actually, it likes to react with sugar, and it makes a very interesting reaction. Now, our, our solids are just about liquefied here, and we'll kind of help it out a little bit, but as soon as this gets completely melted, we're going to just add a little jelly bean into our potassium chlorate and watch the chemical reaction that takes place. So if you'd like, would you like to add it? Sure. Okay. Just one. Um, all you want to do, you want to take the jelly bean, drop it in, and kind of move your hand away what you do. <laughs> okay. All right, just take it, drop it, and back away. Okay. Well, no, you don't have to back away. But... Oh. <laughs> so, pretty interesting reaction, huh? Yes. All right, we've got a lot of smoke coming out. We've got light, obviously, being produced. This purple flame inside the tube, and it's making that whooshing sound as gas exits. We'll give that a minute to die down, and we'll add another one here. I'm glad we didn't put more than one at a time. Yeah, you just want a little, little bit's always better on this. Make the smoke alarm go off? I think we'll be okay. <laughs> All right. Now, we may have enough in there left to do one more. You want to try another one? This one may or may not do a lot. Well, we'll try another one, then we'll kind of talk about what's happening. Okay, so not a lot from that. A little bit. A little bit left. Not too exciting the second time. Okay. But basically what happens, potassium chlorate, like I say, it's an oxidizer, and it reacts with the sugar, and obviously a very substantial chemical change taking place. Um, the potassium, when you burn potassium, it burns with that purple color flame that you saw there. Mm -hmm. And that's what's happening. It's basically, it's breaking apart. Potassium's burning. Um, it's releasing gas. It's releasing smoke. It's giving off light energy, giving off heat energy, a very hot reaction as well, as you see. So a great example of a chemical change using simple jelly beans. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> yes. All right. Thank you for helping us, Mr. Randall. Sure. 